going to explain you second chapter of chemistry. But before that, I want to share one pic. Okay. So observe this pic. Here you can see this one is the pic of gold. Okay. Nut. So uh, this one is the coated nut. But when this nut comes in contact with the surrounding conditions, means gases, or when it comes in the contact with chemicals, so after that what happens? This reddish brown deposition which is takes place on this nut. Okay. So it is because of the action of the surrounding medium on that nut. So and simply we call it rusting or we call it corrosion. So today I am going to explain you second chapter of the chemistry that is metal corrosion and its prevention. So in this topic today first of all I will explain you about uh, what is corrosion and after that types of air. So first slide in that I will explain you about definition of corrosion. So what is corrosion? So it is basically a process of decay or destruction of the matter. Basically in that process what happened? Destruction of the metal takes place. How? Through an unwanted chemical or electrochemical attack. Okay? So that destruction of the metal which is takes place through an unwanted chemical. So in the surrounding medium unwanted chemicals present or because of electrochemical attack also. By its environment or surrounding. So we call it corrosion. Again I will repeat this point. So, corrosion is basically a destruction of the metal textiles. Metal gets reduced. How? Due to the surrounding media, due to the surrounding chemicals. And that chemicals comes in contact with that particular metal and the rusting textiles on that metal. So, with the help of one example, I will explain this. So, first example is formation of reddish brown film on the surface of iron. So, in the first slide, I have uh, already told you about this one. So, basically, in case of iron metal, what happened? Due to the surrounding condition, due to the surrounding media, reddish brown precipitate which is takes place on the surface of iron. So, we call it rusting of iron or corrosion of iron. Uh, I want to give you second example which is regarding to the copper metal. So, in that case, what happened? Formation of greenish pit on the surface of copper. So, when copper metal comes in contact with the surrounding conditions or chemicals, so what happens? So, on the surface of that copper, greenish pit formation takes place. So, these are the examples of the metals. So, when that metal comes in contact with the surrounding media, so corrosion takes place on that particular metal. So, in next slide, I am telling you about types of corrosion. So, which are the types of corrosion? So, basically, two types of corrosion. First one is atmospheric corrosion and the second one is electrochemical corrosion. Atmospheric corrosion is also known as dry corrosion or direct corrosion. So, why we call it direct corrosion? Because this corrosion which is brought into the atmospheric condition. According to their name, atmospheric corrosion means corrosion which brought in the atmospheric conditions. So, which are the atmospheric conditions? So, in the atmosphere, so many gases present, right? Moisture also present. So, when that gases or impurities, those are present in the air, so it comes in contact with that particular metal and the corrosion takes place. So, we call it atmospheric corrosion. We also call it direct corrosion because in that case what happened? Metal directly comes in contact with the surrounding condition. So, direct reaction takes place in between the metal and the surrounding condition. So, that's why we also call it direct corrosion or dry corrosion also. Now, I am telling you what is immerse corrosion. So, immerse corrosion it means the corrosion brought when the metals are in contact with any liquid medium. So, that particular metal comes in contact with the liquid or there is a liquid conducting medium is available. So, in that case, immerse corrosion takes place. This type of corrosion, we also call it electrochemical corrosion or weight corrosion. W-E-T, weight corrosion. So, in that case, what happened? That metals comes in contact with the liquid medium, surrounding medium which is in the liquid form. 
and the corrosion takes place so we call it immerse corrosion now after that this atmospheric corrosion having again subtypes so in next slide i will explain about the types of atmospheric corrosion so which are the types of atmospheric corrosion so for the conveniency purpose we have divided it into two types so which are the two types so first one is corrosion which occurs due to the presence of oxygen and corrosion which occurs due to the other gases so just for the convenience purpose uh, there are two types of the atmospheric corrosion so first one is corrosion which occurs due to the oxygen and another one corrosion which occurs due to the other gases so one of the example i will explain corrosion which occurs due to the oxygen so example is 2m what is m so here i have used m letter to denote metal because in this topic we will discuss about the corrosion of the metal so for the metal i have used m m letter used to represent the metal so when this metal comes in contact with the oxygen because i am now i am telling you about the corrosion which occurs due to the oxygen gas only so when this m that is metal is reacts with the oxygen so after that there is a formation of metal oxide or in that case what happened on that particular metal oxide layer or oxide film is formed so we call it a corrosion which occurs due to the oxygen so basically oxygen comes in contact with the metal so oxide film or oxide layer which is formed on that respective metal so we call it oxidation corrosion also because reaction takes place because of the oxygen now i am giving the example of other gases so in that case example is n again uh, that later i have used to denote the metal so when that metal comes in contact with the cl2 what is cl2 it's chlorine gas okay so instead of oxygen if we use the other gases so those are comes under the point of this second type that is corrosion which occurs due to the other gases so here metal comes in contact with the chlorine gas so after that there is a formation of mcl4 four means tetra so there is a formation of metal tetra chloride okay so here in first type oxide film is formed and here uh, the layer or the film of another gas is formed so in next point i will discuss about the types of film so which layer form on that particular metal so it totally depend on the metal because that metal and the surrounding conditions so according to that reaction takes place okay and in each case or in case of different different metal different types of oxide film or layer which is formed 